And you know who <laughs> else is at a war with evil? Martin. Um, well, according to Urban Meyer's daughter, um, her father is at war with the evil man? Right. So, according um, to the... <laughs> <laughs> According to the Columbus <laughs> Dispatch, we're fucking switching gears now. I love that transition. Um, Gigi Meyer, daughter of, you know... Well, first, before we do that, though, okay. let's just give our sourcing. Um, so we're okay. at the Columbus Dispatch. Um, yeah. This is an article by Joe Harrington, published uh, published tw- uh, noon... At 30, uh, 12 36 p.m. on December 17th. Yeah. yeah. So it's been updated though, too. So okay. this is uh this is some interesting stuff. And this guy is a sports journalist. I'm looking at his other articles. So he focuses on the sports. The sports ball. So Gigi Meyer, daughter of Coach Urban Meyer, who you might, dear audience, know as the now former coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars and former coach for the Ohio State Buckeyes, actually. Uh, Gigi Meyer went to Instagram on Thursday to defend her father, former Ohio State coach Urban Meyer, who was fired Wednesday by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Oof. Gigi Meyer, who, according to her Instagram account, is the CEO of GFIT. GFIT? GFIT. That's a dope name. GFIT. GFIT. What is it? What is? I'm looking this up. <laughs> please do. What the hell is that? Um, G fit gangster fit. Um, Jif fit woman. Hold on. What is this? So, I I don't know if this is her. Oh no! Here it is. Jif fit by Gigi Mar. Here it is. It is a. Sounds like a competitor. To, sounds like yeah. a competitor to Lululemon. Yeah, so I'm on the website now. It says, we help savage ladies transform their bodies forever. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's good. Savage ladies. Yeah. Hell are, yeah, man. Are, are you a savage lady, dear audience? Wouldn't it be funny if we could get her to sponsor our podcast? Yeah. So, CEO of GFIT compared the firing of her father to a declaration of war in one post. So she's also apparently terminally online, too. The spirit of the enemy is in full force battle mode in this world and in people, she posted. This is war. But like I said, we all know who wins in the end. She added prayer and cross emojis. (laughs) And there's there it is on the Instagram screenshot. It's ah. I like her. I like her passion for fitness. I think that's awesome. But I don't like this religion stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it gives off a weird vibe. The yeah. en- the enemy, aka the world, really doesn't want to see good people win. And you can argue whether my dad is a quote unperson unquote or not based on what you see in the media, a super reliable source of info as we know. Anyone who truly knows us knows how incredible he is as a person, and the world hates any platform we have, so he's going to create chaos and destroy it. What? <laughs> this is all... This this was... Well, he's in, like Sao Sao. He, he's the... But the funny thing is, this <laughs> this was in, like, parentheses. It starts with parentheses, and it never ends. There is no <laughs> end to this parentheses. <laughs> what is what? Social media, so... Little does... He, he know he's making it stronger it's not over keep watching wait man so he's gonna create chaos there's already chaos wait man he did create some chaos oh okay (laughs) Uh, okay (laughs) well i know the story of the of how he was fired and yeah yeah hitting players and shit i have another like uh i have an associate press article let me show that here too for you that also so i can read along um so daughter here is feeling you know god warrior she added that in defending her father she was releasing quote the kraken in me oh she what? sounds like she could, she sounds like she'll whip your ass <laughs> damn like if this this sounds like something a ufc fighter would say oh yeah i'm not messing with her Gigi, Gigi Meyer said the media 
was twisting her words in another post and that she wished the organization the best. She clarified that she was at war with evil and she was going to continue to speak up for her father. She posted again and said there was nothing to defend because love wins every time. So, so th this is followed up by like a couple more of her Insta posts here. Uh, typical media twisting what I said. Saying, I declared war against Jags, as in the Jacksonville Jaguars. I truly wish the Jags the best, never wishing failure upon anyone. Sorry if that disappoints you. I'm at war with evil, and I feel called to speak up with truth and love. Good thing is we all know who wins in the end. So oh, Just come out and say it. Say you're at war with Satan, and that God's gonna win. Yeah. Satan, mean, a.k.a. Evil stuff. the owner of the Jaguars. Uh, and then, and here's, an, <laughs> here's another one, too. Oh, <laughs> man. That, I'm sorry, but that's hilarious in the context because the owner of the Jaguars is a Pakistani man. Oh, yeah. And she's. So a lot, I bet a lot of, like, you know, a lot of nativist uh, Americans would, would associate the two. So, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, have you seen this dude's beard, Shahid Khan or Shad Khan, whatever you, his name is? You seen his beard Shad, or I've his never, mustache? I never seen a picture of Shad Khan in my life. Oh, he looks like, dude, he looks like he's from the fucking uh, 1910s. The, damn, this guy's fucking mustache. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> he, he looks like a fucking like baron. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> and he uh, he got rich too by um, I I, I he made. Car bumpers? I'm sorry, car bumpers. Either he made a product for car bumpers or something to do with cars. That's mm. how he got rich. Other than by, of course, exploiting. But anyway. Of course. Yeah. And his son, Tony Khan. His son, Tony Khan, is the uh, founder and CEO, whatever. He's the boss of AEW, which is a wrestling company I follow. Oh, yeah. It all comes full circle. <laughs> She's going to go to Everything's war. Everything's entertainment. Everything's professional wrestling, y'all. Everything. And, and as you showed me earlier, Urban Meyer actually at one point made a brief appearance on fucking AEW. <laughs> Yep. Where he's like throwing a fucking laptop to Chris Jericho so he could like beat the shit out of some dude. Um, this is when he was still obviously coach of the uh, Jaguars here. God, it is, it's a Ouroboros. The circle is complete. Yeah, it's like eating itself. <laughs> Last week, Jaguars owner Shad Khan hinted in an interview with the Associated Press that many of the Urban Meyer headlines could have been coming because of the coach's past success, saying, And when you win in football, you create enemies. The only way you can really deal with that is you got to win again. Khan fired Meyer a few days later after yet another story about the coach surfaced. It's probably the one where he's like, you say he kicked some dude or some shit? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, it's, um, it's behind a paywall. Sure. Fuck. No, no, no. We'll just go to Wikipedia. That's fine. Wikipedia uses, for this source, Wikipedia uses, like, reliable source, like ESPN, mm -hmm. etc. Yeah. Um... But no, so what happened with the kicking of the player? On December 15th, former Jaguars kicker Josh Lambeau publicly accused Meyer of physical abuse, saying that Meyer repeatedly kicked Lambeau's leg during warm-ups prior to the team's final preseason game. Um, uh, sorry, Lambeau said Meyer responded, I'm the head ball coach. I'll kick you whenever the F I want. Later that day, Lambeau reported the incident to his agent, who reported it to Jaguars team. And by the way, the source for that is Tampa Bay Times and um, CBS News. So mm -hmm. it's not like we're using Wikipedia, right? Yeah, <laughs> we've never done that before. <laughs> but this Urban Meyer dude, though, let's give him his props. This guy's a good coach. Um, I I think he's a flake. What I mean, and what I mean by flake is um, that's not a negative thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying he doesn't stay around for one place for too long. Like, for example, I first heard of Urban Meyer at, for the Florida Gators. Uh, Urban Meyer was coached for, Florida, from, for the Florida Gators, the college, Florida, Florida Gators from 2005 to 2010. And I loved watching that, that team. You know, they had, that had the sexy, illust uh, illustrious, is that a word? But that had Tim Tebow on it, man. I loved oh, watching yeah. him play. Um, 
And then he would, and then he quit on Florida. Um, and this is this, and I remember at the time this happened too. It, it like happened out of nowhere. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna quit uh, the Florida Gators team after what five, six years? What? Yeah, six years. Um, and that came out of nowhere. I'm like, what? What's up with this guy? So he retires for a couple years, and then he becomes coach of the Ohio State Buckeyes from 2012 to 2018. And man, let me tell you something. <laughs> this Ohio State Buckeye team from 2012 to 2018. Oh my gosh! Look at this. Look at this record. Okay. 83 games they won. The Ohio State Buckeyes from that time period, and mm. only nine games they lost. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. And. A five, a four and two bowl record, and one national championship. So it seemed like, right, like untouchable. Like he hasn't lost more than two games a season for the Buckeyes. But then all of a sudden, and two, he quits the Buckeyes. Baffling. Yeah. That's why I say he's a flake. He's, he doesn't. He doesn't like staying at one place for too long. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't mean that in a negative way. But that's what I'm saying. He's not reliable. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it's for health reasons. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I'm not going to go speculate on that. But but he doesn't stay at one place for too long. Looks like this article lists quite a bit of his past uh, drama since the very beginning, since he started working with the Jaguars. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, here. by the way, before you get to that, mm-hmm. he also took um, he took like a two three year absence from football and then coached the Jaguars again. So he's kind of like got this pattern of. Well, I'm tired of coaching, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna retire for a little bit. Then I'm gonna go back to coaching. And you know what? More power to this guy. He's making literally millions of dollars. I'd do the same shit too. Maybe he just gets bored at home. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. So yeah, Urban Meyer, who retired from Ohio State in December 2018, was hired to coach the league's worst team in early 2021. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, damn. Are they that bad? Oh, they were bad, yeah. yeah. Oh, my. He won three national titles at the college level, including one at Ohio State, which I do remember that. But his stops at Florida in, and in Columbus weren't without off-field controversies, yeah. which led to speculation that Jacksonville was making a mistake hiring Meyer, who at the time was a Fox Sports College football analyst. Um, Meyer told the dispatch in February, I'm just training myself. The expectations at Ohio State, wait, the expectations are at Ohio State that you can't lose one. Expectations are different in the NFL. To say I'm going to enjoy it and accept it, no. I'm training myself because it will happen. We're all going to do what we can not, wait, we're all going to do, we're going to do all we can not to. But the reality is that will happen and probably more frequently than I've ever experienced. He's probably referring to like taking L's, right? I, I think the context, yeah, is there, but yeah. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. <laughs> and then the off field issues begin after that. Uh oh, you mean the other issues from Meyer in the yeah. AP article? So oh, yeah. I, I'm still in the Columbus Dispatch one actually. Oh, okay. Because there's there was more. So Meyer hired a strength and field uh, a strength and conditioning coach. Guy Chris named- Doyle. Chris Doyle, who had been fired at Iowa for accusations of using racist language. Uh, I actually think I remember this. I don't even fucking follow football. (laughs) I actually heard about that. Meyer was fined by the NFL for using COVID-19 vaccine status as a factor for roster cuts. And he used one roster spot to sign his former Florida quarterback, Tim Tebow, (laughs) as a tight end. He basically lied. So he could get Tebow on his team. Ironically, Tebow, unsurprisingly, was among the first cut. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait a minute. Oh, so, wait a minute. So, I'm sorry. Did he hire Tim Tebow before he lied or after he lied? I'm not sure. Well, he used one of the open roster spots to hire Tebow onto the Jaguars. Oh, um, and guess what? Oh, I'm sorry. And then later he got cut? It doesn't really say uh, why. Because I it, think it ties into the COVID vaccine because of uh, the vaccine status was the determining factor whether you get caught on the roster or not. So if Tim Tebow was unvaccinated at the time, then by team rules, he would have been have to let go. 
and before you move on too, um, you people out there may be thinking, I thought this was about faith and like capitalism. This podcast about history. Well, Tim Tebow, Urban Meyer, how do tell the people cornbread? How do they relate to episode one with Rock City Church? Well, thank you for <laughs> asking that. Actually. Uh, if you look at some of Rock City's past uh, social media activity on Twitter, <laughs> on their own personal website, you will find that Tim Tebow and Urban Meyer have actually been uh, reoccurring guests for yes. numerous events. I remember one in particular. It was a Mother's Day event held at Rock City Church where they invited Urban Meyer. <laughs> yes, I remember um, that. I didn't know Urban Meyer was a mother, but apparently... You know, instead of, you know, like platforming any of the women in the audience to talk about motherhood, uh, uh, Pastor Chad Fisher of Rock City decided, you know what, Urban Meyer actually is somebody who really needs a platform. Somebody who's hurting to get their voice and experience out there about motherhood. So there's one. And Tim Tebow has made uh, several appearances. Yep. Um, yeah. let, let me look at some of those. Up. Well, wait a minute. I'm actually on... Uh YouTube right now, there's a YouTube video, one-on-one -on -one with Coach Urban Meyer, Chad Fisher, and Urban Meyer. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The title is so cringe, Urban Legends. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. man. So, yeah, they have ties to our favorite yeah. transphobic medic. You know what's ironic, church. too? Urban Meyer is a Catholic. That's right. He's a fucking Roman Catholic. <laughs> Rock City is like a non-denominational church with a more evangelical Christian bent. Yeah, so it's kind of like, so, how the fuck did they get connected? Besides Pastor Chad being like a sports bro himself. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's never he's never played any sports to my knowledge, but he has, you know, he's he's he gets very horny for sports. Um, horny for the Buckeyes, <laughs> horny for Urban Meyer. <laughs> Yes. Um, all that. So they they have tied. This is all actually secretly relevant. And now Gigi Meyer has become part of the canon. She's a god warrior. Um, so there's the Chris Doyle thing. There was the Tim Tebow stuff. Uh, once the season started, I'm reading from the article, it was a disaster on and off the field. Meyer was caught on social media in a Columbus bar in October dancing with a woman who was not his wife, and the team was struggling mightily on the field. <laughs> Reports of Meyer being abusive to his coaching staff and making odd decisions with the player roles began to surface in December. Jacksonville fired Meyer as the team had a 2-11 record out. So two wins, 11 losses. And the number one pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence, was struggling under center. Ouch. And that's the end of that article. Um, so this is all kind of very tragic, but also very funny at the same time, in my opinion. Um, I just kind of like the energy that his daughter is coming at this. Um, love her Instagram energy. I stan it. Uh, oh, yeah, man. Good for her. She's standing up for her father. You know, that's awesome. I'm on her Insta right now just to see if she's posted any more wild stuff. CEO of G Fit, helping ambitious ladies shed on fat and regain confidence using our metabolism oh, reset man. system. Love, fitness, family, and Jesus. Uh, fitness, faith for superwomen. Face oh, this is a Facebook group. Oh, okay. I, I think this applies to me. I love fitness, family, and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Wow. Ain't no, well, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Fitness oh. is awesome. She's got herself a cute little baby here. Um, yeah. And she's a cute little lady herself, too. There's really no God... There's really not very many God Warrior posts on here. Nah. Yeah, we'll leave her alone. Let her gaslight gatekeep girl boss all the way. So... It I don't is, know what you just said, <laughs> but out. Let's go. It's, it's it's a meme. 